हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू ऑन लैग्रेंजेस मल्टीप्लायर नॉन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स विथ थ्री वेरिएबल्स एंड वन इक्वालिटी कंस्टेंट वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स लेट अस डिस्कस द सेकंड प्रॉब्लम ऑफ नॉन लीनियर प्रोग्रामिंग प्रॉब्लम्स विथ थ्री वेरिएबल्स एंड वन इक्वालिटी कंस्टेंट बिफोर watching this video i highly recommend to go back and check the first problem of the same type see exactly similar problem all the things are written over here you just need to fill the blanks and you'll get your result so let us start quickly without wasting time i highly recommend you solve this problem by yourself and you can verify your result uh, let us start h is the constraint that is given in the problem this is the constraint then this side this will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 10 will come to this side and will become minus 10. Let us write it down the Lagrange's function that is objective function minus lambda times constraint. So this is 12 x1, 8 x2, 6 x3, minus x1 square minus x2 square minus x3 square minus 23 minus lambda times constraint. And what is the constraint? This is the constraint that is x1 plus x2. Plus x three minus ten. So this is the constraint. Let us quickly find out the things. Do l upon do x one. Let us differentiate with respect to x one. So this will be twelve. Zero zero. This is minus two x one. This is zero zero. And from this we'll get minus lambda. Let us differentiate with respect to x two partially. So this is zero. This is zero. Here it is eight. This is minus two x two. And uh, then from this we'll get minus lambda. Next, with respect to x three, with respect to x three you will get six. Then minus two x three, and then minus lambda. And finally, with respect to lambda, if you're gonna differentiate, so this will be minus. See this minus. Lambda derivative is one, and this term will remain as it is. That is x one plus x two plus x three minus ten. So minus will go inside. That will become minus x one minus x two minus x three plus ten. What next? Let us equate it to zero. So this will be twelve minus two x one minus lambda equal to zero. This is equation number one. Eight minus two x two minus lambda equal to zero. This is equation number two. And finally, six minus two x three minus lambda equal to zero. This is equation number three. And here, if you equate it to zero, ten will go to that side and will become minus ten. See, all are minus. If you multiply by minus, everything will become plus. And it's simply x one plus x two plus x three equal to ten. This is equation number four. As discussed, always fixed. Add these three equation and use equation number four. This is fixed. Add one, two, and three. If you add one, two, and three, you will get see minus two x one from this minus two x two minus two x three and twelve minus lambda eight minus lambda six minus lambda equal to zero. If we take minus two common from this inside, we'll get x one plus x two exactly similar problem plus x three. This is twelve, eight, and six. That is twenty-six minus three lambda equal to zero. So let us put this from equation number four. So equation number four. So this is value is ten plus twenty-six minus three lambda equal to zero. So this is minus twenty plus twenty-six is what six minus three lambda equal to zero. In short, lambda equal to two. We got lambda equal to two. What next? We need to put in equation number one, two, and three. See exactly similar procedure. If we put lambda is equal to two here, so this will be twelve minus two. That is ten minus two x one plus ten. That means x one is equal to five. Next, if I put lambda is equal to two, so eight minus two will be six. We'll go to that six. X two will be three. And if we put lambda is equal to two here, so six minus two will be four, and two. So these are the values of 
x1 x2 x3 you can check once you can verify the values and if you put all these values in equation number one x1 x2 x3 in equation number one z value we're gonna get is 35 the only thing that needs to be checked is whether it's a maximum value or minimum value for that purpose we know what to do use of this hessian matrix so here it is zero next h x1 x2 and x3 so if you differentiate with respect to x1 hope this is clear with respect to x1 x2 x3 if you differentiate this you will get 1 1 1 what next we already have dual upon dou x1 we need to take differentiation with respect to x1 again so that is minus 2 if we differentiate with respect to x2 for this term again minus 2 and minus 2 remaining all the terms will be 0 how see here x2 and x1 we already have x1 and if you differentiate with respect to x2 0 if you differentiate uh, so this will be 0 here it will be 0 what next see here x3 x1 x3 x1 so x1 if you differentiate with x3 again it is 0 so here it will be 0 and finally x3 x2 so if you differentiate x3 with x2 again it will be 0 so this is the matrix this is a delta 4 delta 3 will be a 3 cross 3 matrix so you need to take first three rows and columns so that is 0 1 1 1 minus 2 and 0 and finally 1 0 minus 2 if you solve you will get delta 3 value is a 4 you can try doing it you will get the value as 4 let us find it out delta 4 delta 4 is this again the same procedure c2 minus c4 c3 minus c4 c2 and c3 will change c1 will remain same c2 minus c4 and c2 minus c4 and c3 minus c4 c2 and c3 will change c2 minus c4 1 minus 1 0 minus 2 minus 0 minus 2 0 minus 0 0 0 minus of minus 2 that will become plus 2 next c3 minus c4 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 0 0 minus 2 minus 0 minus 2 0 minus of minus 2 that will become plus 2 again the same story minus 1 will be outside because if you take these three zeros multiplied with the matrix uh, determined the answer will be zero will be left with only last if you want detailed explanation for this go back in the last problem problem number one this is problem number two you'll get the detailed explanation of this so ultimately leave this column and row and inside will be left with minus one minus two zero one zero minus two one two and two solve this determinant in calculator and you will get the value as 12 do it check it you will get 12 and outside it is minus so it's minus 12 so see here it's clear since delta 3 is positive and delta 4 is negative delta 3 positive delta 4 negative delta 3 positive delta 4 negative then it's a maxima and whatever the got the solution that is 35 is actually maxima so here i'm going to conclude z max equal to 35 we're done with it hope you understood thank you